I förra avsnittet av Ocean Avenue. I told you to stay out of it. I will not let you destroy this family. If you continue with this, I will not be silent anymore, Manuel. True or false, Mr. Rendon, do you hate Martin Devon that much? Yes, I hate Martin Devon. No, Daddy! Order! Tell him he didn't kill all those people. Order! <laughs> between you and your mom. It's okay, I guess. I mean, I don't think I'm ever gonna be as cool with her and Coach Perez being together, but I'm pretty sure I got it working to a point where at least it doesn't make me sick. <laughs> Look, I hate to follow up a question with a question. But... You can stop right there, because I know exactly what you're gonna say. <laughs> Come on, you know the season's next month. You don't give up, do you? I just want to see if you're going to play. There's still time. It's not too late. Come on. I hear you, D. OK? Hey. OK, I get the hint. I guess we all got our problems, you know? Yeah. I thought your life was perfect. <laughs> yeah, right. What? I had a nerve or something? Nah. Come on, you've been there for me. I can be there for you. It's no big deal. Got a call from my dad's secretary. Old Patrick Saul tied up in knots because my mom called him telling him that I wasn't returning her phone messages. So what are you gonna do? Thinking of hiring a secretary to talk to his secretary? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what do you got there? No, uh, nothing. Just the first cut of my first major feature. Camp Seminal stuff? Uh-huh. Hey, bring that over here. Let's roll this thing. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I better be in the opening credits. Yeah, yeah, everybody wants their place. <laughs> hey, I forgot to rewind. Uh, let me see. Well, what's that? Part of a plane. Thanks. Court. Fight in the court, please. Mr. Kitteridge, you ready to proceed? Of course, Your Honor. Of course, you hate Martin Devon, Mr. Rendon. You have reason to hate him, do you not? Yes, I have reason to hate him. After all, he manufactured evidence that put you in prison, didn't he? Yes, Martin Devon framed me. And how did he do this, do you know? Yes. He used Stefan Erickson. Erickson was his mole in the operation. That's a damn lie, and you know it! Mr. Clayton, control your client. No. Erickson fed information to Martin Devon that he later used to put me in prison. Objection, that's speculation, Your Honor. My dad would never do that. With the court's indulgence, the state will prove that Martin Devon We'll stop at nothing 
that he will use anyone, even his best friend. He'll cut down anyone, even his own wife, to get what he wants. Very well. I'll allow it. Overruled. Mr. Rinda, is it true that Martin Devon had reason to want you in jail? Yes. Mr. Rendon, do you believe that Martin Devon killed his wife? Yes, I do. And why do you believe this to be true? Because he's done it before. Done what before? Kill someone? Objection, Your Honor. Lying son of a bitch! Order! Order the court! That was pretty cool footage you got there, huh? Yeah, no. We had a good time there. We had a good time there. It's not like I'm pinned by mosquitoes every five minutes. <laughs> what's up, guys? Hey, See? what's up? What's going on? Going on? Well, you know, the usual. Keeping the streets safe from bad dudes like you. <laughs> so what are you guys watching? Oh, we're checking out some footage tea shot during our class trip. Hey, you want to see something cool? Yeah, sure. Check this out. Look at that. Wait a minute, what the hell is that? Hit, hit pause. You see that? Yeah. It looks like the letter D. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. It's probably what it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Where was that, anyway? What camp was that? It's Camp Seminole. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's the place where Uncle Jamie used to take his fishing, remember? Right, right, down by the glades, I remember. Mm-hmm. Hey, T, you think, uh... I could borrow that tape for a day? Uh, sure. Hand it over. All right. There you go. All right, thank you. Hey, I'll catch you guys later. Gotta go. All right. Wow, look at you. Mr. Bunny from you. Oh, um, uh, no, no. Um, it, it's a present. Because uh, 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 I like you. I like you too, Davey. Okay, I'll keep Mr. Bunny on my desk, and then whenever you want him back, you can take him back, okay? Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> so, did you, um, did you fi uh, find Lauren Ramsey? Yes, I did. Guess what? She lives in New York. And guess where the murder started? New York. Well, maybe Boston and then New York. Yep. Uh, d did you get to talk to her? No, I tried, but there was a machine on number I got from information. Well, uh, uh, maybe, maybe she'll call you uh, back. I hope. It's probably a dead end, though. Crystal Tate, it was about time we met. you run away before? What's, what's happening? I can't tell you. Why not? Because I'm so ashamed. You said you were afraid of Roberto. Why? Because he would kill me. 
Nothing can be that bad, Alicia. This is really bad, Juliana. Tell me, my child. You know that he will not leave this room. Like a miracle. Roberto will be very happy. No, he won't. It's not his child, Juliana. And you know that. But Alicia. Please, can I help me? Help me to get rid of it before Roberto finds out. Please, Juliana. Please help me. Was your wife, Alicia, acquainted with the defendant, Martin Devon? Yes, she was acquainted with Martin Devon. She worked on a charity committee at the Devon Burnt Clinic. Could you describe your wife, Alicia, for the court? She was, she was beautiful. She was a very kind and trusting woman. She never saw the evil in anyone. She always saw the good. She was constantly trying to help others. This desire to help the underprivileged is what led her into contact to working with Martin Devon. Is that true? Yes, yeah, she raised a considerable amount of money for Martin Devon. And in the process, she was in constant contact with the defendant? Yes, yeah, she was much more than I was comfortable with. He was constantly asking her to work late at night with him. And Alicia obliged him? Of course, like I said, she was a trusting woman. May I ask what happened to your wife? She was murdered. He killed her. Objection, Your Honor. This is speculation. Order! Order! Not bad. Not bad at all. Can we get this over with, please? Can we just, I don't know, Hey. D, I'm out of here. So you're gonna have to fill this out of yourself. <laughs> and Dodie? Nice. Very nice. What's up with, with the new you? It's not a big deal, okay? I just wanted to change, you know? Uh-huh. Will you stop? It's a pretty awesome star. Oh, um, so what were you guys up to? Yeah, we were just looking at some of the footage that T shot. Yeah, it was cool, this, this plane thing that we were looking at. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. What? I made a decision, Dylan. What decision? I'm going back to the Everglades. Uh, so what do you mean, no match yet, Martha? Gotcha. Well, how long will that take? We're running out of time here. Yeah, right, well, we still got the FBI lab. Sure, their equipment's a lot better. I'll get back to you. So, is that about our new dead girl or what? Yeah, you know, same old, same old. I am so close to this guy, I'm telling you, Margo, I can taste it. I'm just looking over some of Johanna's notes, you know? What do you got? Anything interesting? That whole Boston connection. What about it? 
Remember it was the same weekend we had that introduction to that big crime lab at uh, Boston University? We were gonna hook up, then I had to cancel. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So you were there, right? No, I, uh, when you canceled, I did too. Hey, look, you wanna see something that's really gonna blow your mind? Take a look at this. What? I think I found Jack Hamilton's plane. I'm a man of action, Miss Tate, not words. So I'll go straight to the point. Please do, Mr. Ortega. These articles you've been writing about Jastic is, it will be wise for you to turn your journalistic skills somewhere else. Did your boss tell you to come down here and threaten me, or was that your idea? Drop the story, Miss Tate. After all, the woman was a common whore. Not worth even the paper you're writing on. Hmm. Well, that's where I'd have to disagree with you. Um, and whoever else is getting antsy about jazz, uh, the lady was killed and somebody covered it up. So I'm just trying to find out who and why. That wouldn't be a good idea. You've been warned, you state. What are you doing, Manuel? I will not allow this. Not anymore. Your Honor, this line of questioning is totally prejudicial to my client. On the contrary, Your Honor, it goes to establishing a pattern of behavior on the part of the defendant. That's ludicrous. I ask that this line of questioning be stricken from the record. Counselors, can we have some order in the court, please? Mr. Critteridge, I'm warning you. Stick to the facts. I'm going to allow this line of questioning, Mr. Layton, but you must stick to the facts, Mr. Critteridge. Your Honor, this is speculation. I've made my ruling. You may proceed, Mr. Critteridge. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Rendon, would you relate to the court the circumstances surrounding your wife's death? She was on her way to a meeting with Martin David for an event they were working on. It was raining. I begged her not to go, but she was insistent. She was very conscientious. A few hours later, I received a phone call from the police saying that her car had gone off the road and plunged into the bay. She had drowned. But you said she was murdered. She was murdered because she was not alone in the car. Morton Devin was there. And when the car went down to the bottom, he swam to the That's top like a lie. little fish That's and saved himself That's and not by a lizard. That's a lie! Is it a lie? Then what is this? It's money clip. I found it right next to her, in the car. Where did it come from? Your Honor, the state would like to enter this money clip, the initials MD, found in the car the night Alicia Rendon died. Mr. Rendon, can you think of any reason why Martin Devon would like to see your wife dead? Mr. Rendon, why do you think Martin Devon killed your wife? She was pregnant. He raped her. Oh, objection! Liar! Liar! I'm not a liar, David. Come on! I've been waiting a long time for you. No! Order now. Order, order. Elena! Oh, me pequeña. Elena, por favor, wait. Calm down. Son of a bitch!
nästa avsnitt av Ocean Air. And if it weren't for you, I would be back in Stockholm for a long time ago. Well, I'm glad you didn't go. You mean that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Gabby, I'm not gonna dance around it. I still really care about you. I care about you too, Michael. Enough to come back to New York with me? Well, I can't say the thought hasn't crossed my mind. We had a good life, Gabby. We could have it again. I wanted to ask you something. Of course. What? I've been trying to locate my little girl's death certificate. Why would you do that, Kara? I guess I just need some kind of closure. They have no record of it in Mountainside, New Jersey. I think the whole picture is real ugly. I think mom had something on you. And I think it had something to do with all this stuff in the papers about the Jazz de Guise murder. Well, you know something that's, uh, that's real interesting? But I don't have much time to listen to a bunch of fairy tales. You make time, old man.